All right, so I've got these two evaporators and this curbside walk-in cooler. It is four in the morning. And I'm here right now. You see we've got some water. This thing is full of water. I had to come early today to work in here when there's nobody here because this is like smack dab in the middle. I've already pushed these uh, shells off to the side. Got that last one right there. Getting some water out of it because it started spilling. So I'm using this to get water out and I figured I would start shooting video. Show y'all what happens here. If I take these covers off, you can see we've got a whole bunch of ice in there. That's got to defrost. I'm going to have to defrost it with hot water because it's going to take way too long if it don't. Okay, finally an hour later. An hour and a half actually. Got my hoses worked out. Found the hot water. You can see it's dripping pretty good as is. Just with air, but we got to go faster than that. This pan is being stubborn. You can see because it's got... All that ice in there, that's where I'm going to start. This water is coming straight out of that cute little water heater they got. And it's hot too. There we go, that's much better. So, see these big old globs of ice I got right next to each other? Man, hot water works it out so good. This is my favorite part. But yeah, you always gotta use hot water. You can't ever use, I see I see it all the time. They use like uh, ice picks or they use hammers to try to break this stuff apart. That's the worst thing to do. Anybody watching this with some common sense knows that. It's difficult sometimes finding where to get the hot water from. And it's also a pain in the ass carrying all these hoses with you all the time and then you're rolling them back up but it's worth it this would take so long to try to defrost any other way hot water would take just a, like 20-30 minutes I'm not quite sure if the camera will pick it up, but when you start seeing like the water acting like it's uh, carbonated, it's, I don't know how else to describe it. It seems like it's carbonated. It sounds like it's fizzing as you melt it. I can't, I don't have enough hands right now. Damn it. Well, I figured out a way. Look at that. All right, now I got a camera hand. All right, now I can show you what I'm talking about. All right, here we go. It looks much different. You see that? You see how that water looks? It looks cloudy. And then sometimes when you melt it, you can hear it popping. And it sounds like, like it has fizz to it. That is always almost an indication of oil being present on the ice. Usually to indicate the source of a refrigerant leak. Okay, I have turned off the fans so that maybe you can you can hear this. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to or not, but if you can hear it, this is the sound that I'm talking about. You hear how it kind of sparkles? The water has a like a sparkling sound to it. Yeah, like I said, I'm not sure if you can hear it. 
it's a very high frequency noise but like I said it sounds just like soda fizz yeah make sure not to get my phone too wet here Anyways, it's a very distinct sound. Not so prevalent on this unit. I can hear that popping noise right around there. Yep. And then you even get some suds sometimes. I don't know if you can see them. I'm not gonna move the camera again because I, I gotta hurry up and get this done, but there's suds. Almost looks like soap right there. I don't know why it does that, but it does. I've been seeing it for years. Where the Freon leak is and it's froze up, you get that funny looking ice. And it's cloudy, it makes cloudy water too. Hopefully the camera picks up on it. I don't think it does though. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna do this and then that one. I'll come back. There it is again. Foggy and soapy looking water. See those suds down there on the bottom of the ice? Looks like soap. Oil making the suds. Okay, now it is seven o'clock. I got all the ice off everywhere. You gotta get all the ice off of everywhere. You can't leave any on the inside top corner of the coil. You gotta get all the ice everywhere. Then you can restart it and find out why it's freezing up. There's that one. And that one. All right, we're gonna let it run and see what temperature it gets to. We'll see if it stops at set point, which should be no lower than 32. When I got here this morning at four, it felt like it was colder than 32 in here, but I could be tripping. Oh yeah, and if you make a mess, you gotta clean it takes time but you gotta do it all right I'm up here at the condenser everything's good down there it's uh reaching temperature so it's lost some refrigerant obviously I gotta try to find the leak by the time this refrigerant gets down there to the expansion valve and beyond it that's why we're icing up so much on the capillary tubes. Due to the fact that it has lost some refrigerant. This side glass should be full. So what we gotta do is find the leak. Wish I could call it done, but I can't. It looks kinda oily down there, huh? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna find the leak and I'll show you in just a minute. And well, it might not seem like much, but if I let this go, then in a couple weeks, it's gonna be another big old lava ice there. Big old lava ice there, just like it was today. So, as much as I would like to just, you know, forget it and not start looking for a leak on these brand new units. Yeah, brand new. What's the date? Yeah, there it is. 621. I gotta do my due diligence and I don't want 
callbacks. Alright, here's kind of a better look at how it's frosting up. It shouldn't be like this. It should be more even if it's gonna if it's gonna frost. I don't even think it should frost like that though. It should be consistent and frosty over here as well. So now with the leak found, I'm gonna add some refrigerant to it. Looks like we've got a valve right here. Yeah, pretty good little spot. I've added some and you can see my frost is disappearing from the capillaries slowly, but it is disappearing. That's more like. All right, well, I'm wrapping it up now. So I don't know if this video is gonna do anybody any good, but if you watch it, I appreciate it. Later.